Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Koenig K-Summit XXL Premium Self-Tensioning Snow Tire Chains. So at first glance, you guys are probably thinking this isn't your basic tire chain. It really isn't. It's actually kind of interesting how it works. Basically, it's gonna be easier than most to put on once you find the proper tool that comes with our kit to fit around your lug nut. You basically put half of it on, tighten that down, it's just a ratcheting strap here, and then roll over it and it actually just kind of does it by itself. It just goes around and then you come out and check it and tie it down some more. We are gonna have D-link shapes for our tire chains and it's gonna make a diamond pattern here. It also has some steel plates that it's gonna be great for ice breakers basically, just going in and breaking up all that ice so you're not just sitting there and sliding. And these plates right here are gonna be made of plastic but they have I would call them studs or rivets, and basically that's going to grip that ice or snow a little bit better than this plastic, and it's going to help keep this plastic going for a decently long time. Between the shape of the links and the pattern of which they go around your tire, I think they're going to definitely get you to and from your destination pretty safely. Good starts, good stops, good turns, and these are going to be able to fit on your rear wheel drive and of course your front wheel drive and obviously all four of them as well for your four wheel drive or all wheel drive applications. So between it being pretty easy to install compared to some of the other ladder pattern style chains, you're also gonna be staying on the outside of your wheel and you're not gonna be having to actually lay down on the snow to get behind your tire and link all those links behind your tire in your wheel well. In my opinion, that is probably one of the most ideal things for me if I was buying tire chains, just because if I'm installing tire chains, there's probably gonna be snow on the ground and I don't wanna be laying in that to get everything hooked up and then go back in my car and get everything all gross. This way, you just put it on there, you're staying outside. You don't have to worry about any of those sensors or wires in the back of your wheel well. And it's actually even easier to get them off. It's just a normal ratchet strap. You just go like that. You're gonna see you kind of loosen up a little bit. And once you get that somewhat loose, you can go in there and actually loosen and take off this bolt. And once you get that done, you'll have less tension. Then you can go ahead and work these off. And once you get most of them off, we are gonna to have to roll over them a little bit, obviously, to get the bottom chains off of our tire. But all you gotta do is just get in your car and just roll over it and you'll come back out and both of them, they'll be out. But I do suggest undoing all of them on all the tires you install these on just so you only have to go in your car once, roll over them and take them off. So once you just roll off of them a little bit, obviously we're gonna be able to grab it and put it all back together. And it folds up pretty nicely actually, especially compared to the ladder style chains. Those are kind of a pain to keep unraveled. And in my opinion, this is a pretty hefty bag. It's not just cloth or canvas, and it actually has hard plastic on the inside. I would definitely, say this is one of the best bags that comes with any tire chains that we carry here. Just put those back in and zip it up. And it really isn't too difficult to install these even if you're doing it on four wheels on your vehicle. So let's just go ahead and do it together. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is grab our bag here and grab the instructions. So we are dealing with the K67 size of these Koenig chains. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we have to adjust the chains for them to be able to fit our tires here. So as you can see here up top, we are using the K67 XXLs. And the tire size on our 
vehicle here is going to be a 245-65R16. So you just locate that there. So we are going to have to remove one of these links here. So if you don't know your tire size off the top of your head, basically it's going to be along the rim of your vehicle. It's going to be a three number and then a two number and then an R and then that's going to be your rim size. It may start with a P or an LT, something like that, but it's usually always going to be around the rim. So these green slash yellow neon indicators here, these are going to be the ones that we're going to be removing if we are told to do so after looking up our tire size in the instructions. So the tools are included with the kit. We're going to get one to go over our nylon lock nut on this side and an Allen key to go on this side. Doesn't matter which one you do, it just needs to have this neon indicator in the middle here. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You put one in on one side and then loosen the other until it completely comes off. So once we get this nylon lock nut off, you can go ahead and just remove that little link there. And as you can see, it just basically just spreads that out just so it can fit your tire size. And it's not going to affect anything, so I do suggest that you put this back together and put it in your kit just in case you do change tire sizes down the road. So if you have a plate covering up your lug nuts, we are going to be having to access those. So just grab any sort of tool here. I'm actually just using the Allen key provided, but I might have to go ahead and grab a Phillips if it doesn't come off that easily. So now we can go ahead and pick the appropriate size for our lug nuts here. And we just want them to fit on there. As you can see here, this is gonna be the one that's gonna fit on there the best. As you can see, it goes all the way up to it, like that, not with a whole lot of force. It doesn't take a whole lot, but the ones that you won't be using on this, just so you guys can see what it looks like, Basically, obviously that's way too much play. And obviously this one is just a little snug. You don't really want it to have to actually push on there and pull it off. So we're definitely gonna go with this size here. Just fits it real snug like. Put that on there. So now we can go ahead and actually take our chains here and kind of fold them out like so and start fishing them around our tire here making sure that everything's not all kinked up and we're obviously not going to be able to get all of it around our tire but we are going to get enough just to get at least 60 percent of that tire covered for now so now we can go ahead and take this plastic section that's on the little strap here we're going to take one of our included bolts and thread it in, but as you can see now, how it's going to sit, it is going to be really close to our rim. So, pre-installed on this plastic piece here, when you get it out of the box, you're going to have a spacer and a bolt. So basically, we want to pick the right spacer to be able to thread that in, and we're going to have a decent amount of clearance here at least about an inch, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and go with the larger spacers that come in our little bag. And then of course, we will have to grab a longer bolt that's in the bag as well. So this way, when we put that on there, we're gonna have plenty of room in between our rim and our plastic tool here. Kind of just thread that on. And as you thread it on, it's gonna basically grab onto your lug nut and keep it into place. So now what we want to do is set our tensioner basically on one of our lug nuts facing towards the center hubcap of our wheel. And once we do that, you can go ahead and tighten it down. And the reason for this being is, as you can see, this ratchet strap does pull on this strap and we want it to be pretty close to the center just to give us a lot of strength and tension without putting a lot of strain on these chains. I'm gonna get it pretty tight, get it real nice and snug, 
but don't over tighten these. So once you go ahead and roll over them a couple of times, you come back out, make sure that it's nice and seated into place. And if everything seems to be in order, then you're pretty much ready to go. And again, that's basically all you really need to know for the Koenig K-Summit XXL Premium Self-Tensioning Snow Tire Chains.